How's it going, everyone, and welcome back to the FIFA 20th Academy Legends Series of Grimsby Town. Anyways, guys, welcome back to another episode, and we are in the month of December today. And uh, it's it's the bit it's the normally busy month of the year, but it's not as busy as it normally is. It's a bit weird, but um, in this um, in this particular month, we have Walsall in the cup, which we're not going to be playing. Newport, Stevenage, Swindon, Cheltenham, and Rochdale. Um, I don't know which games I'm going to play yet, but we'll soon find out. But I know for a fact I'm not playing that one because it's an FA Cup game and I'm not really bothered about the FA Cup right now. So here we go then, straight into the action. Grimsby against Walsall. What's the outcome going to be? It's a 1-0 loss. That's absolutely fine with me. And here we are then, going into the first game of this episode that I'm going to play. Um, I brought in Fabio Ribeiro on the left wing because he is very unhappy and wants to leave. Um, so I'm going to have to play him a few times to try and get his happiness back up. I am because I don't want to sell him, but I will sell him if he becomes a negative influence on on my job. So anyway, Grimsby Town against Newport County. We're playing this game during sunset, during dusk. Don't know why, but here we are anyway with Liam Dillon already going down the left hand side. Oh, go on. <laughs> okay then, that was straight from kickoff. Corner comes in from Wilmot, headed away by big man Svensson. Wait, no, it's Lindstrom's the big man, isn't he? Lindstrom's the big man, and oh man, he Desiree has, has put Newport 1-0 up. Nice goal, fair play to him. That was um, that was a nice goal, D did well to outstrength whoever the defender was, I think it was Campos. Better not have been Ross Tom. Rivero inside, that's good. Good uh, control there from Victor Pearson. Campos goes out wide to Liam Dillon. Hannon coming in. Oh, it's not even Hannon. It's Lindstrom. I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was Hannon. Anyway, it's Liam Dillon who puts it in. How are we not scoring these chances? Well, that turned into a nice pass. Ribeiro inside. Toby Watson. Ah. Oh, oh, Victor Pearson. What? I'm I'm so confused. I, I I don't know how he scored that. I that, what even? I need to see that again. I don't know how he scored that. How did he? He just took a stab at it and it went in. Okay then, fair enough I guess. <laughs> nice finish in the end from Victor Pearson. And it's Liam Dillon. Oh, nice little touch there. It's Victor Pearson again. He was fouled anyway. That's a good shot and a good save from the keeper. Ribeiro back in. Liam Dillon at the back post. And that's a goal kick. Ribeiro. Chipped in. Beautiful. Oh, come off it. Try again then. Yes! Arvin Hannans! I think, if, if I remember correctly, that's like three games in a row now where Hannans and Pearson have both scored. Or at least at least one of them is scored in, in those games anyway. We've turned it around and we're 2-1 up. Come on! Nice, Liam Dillon. He's going on the run here. He's looking to try and go all the way if he can. Come on, Liam. Yes. Oh, Liam Dillon. Oh. Oh. That could have been one of the best goals I've scored in a very long time. Montoya. Nice. Hannon chips it up. Ronaldo. Yes. Get in there. Ronaldo gets a goal as well. And it's a three it's gonna be a 3-1 win. All three of my strikers, all three of my fit strikers scoring. And it just proves that without that we are capable without Mats Mazzaro well. That the, the fact that all three of my other strikers have scored in one game just proves that point. And there we go. Great way to start off the episode with a 3-1 win. That is some good stuff. I like it. Right, so I've had this email come through saying that uh, the board want me to sell Fabio Ribeiro. So, um, I have already declined two offers, but I am just going to accept this one. It's from Nottingham Forest. And um, I believe they already have a player called Ribeiro who plays left back. So, uh, a Ribeiro, a full-on Ribeiro down the left-hand side. <laughs> 
So here's the next game then, I've put Bradley Jackson back on the left hand side because there's no point in trying to keep a player happy if they're not going to become happy. It's Grimsby Town against Stevenage. <laughs> Campos with the crunching challenge and that might set us up on, a, on an attack here. Jackson ball in, ah. Oh. I just want to watch a Steven each player go flying. I'm sorry, I had to. Look, <laughs> look at that. Campos just comes in with an absolute. Oh, let me get rid of that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we are. Here we are. Are you ready for this? Boom! <laughs> and that same player said, What challenges are flying in here? And of course, you get <laughs> the Steven East player got a yellow card. When well, I've done about three or four of those challenges in this game, <laughs> the Steven East flipping hell referee need to get a grip on the ref. Some puts it in. Oh, oh, come on! Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> yes, Arvin Hannans. You are joking me! No, you're not. Who is it? Victor Pearson. I nearly called him. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter what I nearly called him. <laughs> he scored again, Victor Pearson. He's on a roll right now, that is for sure. He is on an absolute roll. Nice composed play from Campos. Just pass it back into Hannah. I mean, keeper nearly saved that one. I mean, it was a bit of an iffy shot from Victor Pearson, but luckily. Keep a dive too far. <laughs> Ronaldo, nice control. Lorenzo Giordano scored a few in the sim games. Oh, oh, Lorenzo. Oh, that, that could have been something spectacular. He's been scoring in the sim games. Not this time in a played one. I'm still yet to score with him myself. Nice, nice pass. Bradley Jackson. Oh. A chance right at the end of the game, but that is going to be it. That's going to be it. It's going to be a 1 0 win. Another one. Another win. The wins are stacking up now, that is for sure. We're knocking on the door of those playoff places. We now need to just keep on going, and we can be knocking on the door of those automatic promotion places. The final game of this episode sees me travel to Swindon Town and play them again. I think I played them in the last episode. Um, so, uh, did I beat them? I can't remember if I beat them or not, but anyway, let's go beat them anyway. <laughs> nice one, Hannant. Pearson, Victor Pearson. Oh, nice. Ah! Oh, might still have a chance, you know. Might still have a chance, Toby Watson! <laughs> oh, that was a rocket. And well saved from the goalkeeper. Oh, no. No, Wallery! Oh, that's, that's not... Oh, that didn't drop kindly. It dropped kindly for them, but they didn't make the most of it. Oh, Victor Pearson, look at that. And Hannon's through, and he's going to get caught. Ah, oh, so I took a shot. God damn it. Come on, Hannon. Oh, yes. Right, he can't make a pass with his right foot, so I'm going to have to go with his left. You know what, I might just go all the way and have a shot. Yes! What a goal that is from Arvin Hannans! Use his weaknesses. And using his weak well, not necessarily using his weaknesses, but knowing his weaknesses just contributes to his strengths. Can't pass with his right foot, turn onto his left and shoot and you score. Simple as that. I don't know where I'm going with that at all. It's a fantastic goal nonetheless. Hannans. Nice ball over to Peter Price. Again, not very good on his right foot. Hannant! And again, and it's blocked somehow, blocked on the line and on the line twice. Oh, how easy was that? How easy was that? Oh, why has he gone with his weaker foot? Although, has he got five star weak foot? I can't remember. Oh, either way, that should have been at least on target. Oh no, this could be bad, this could be very bad. It's Grove. Oh, thank God for that. Get that out of there. That's going to be it, hopefully. Yes, it is. Won all three of our played games so far in the league. We've got two more games left to simulate. Let's hope we can keep that run going. Okay, so I am back from watching Cutsy's comeback YSL episodes. You guys won't have realised there was a break in that. 
Fabio Ribeiro has been sold. He is off to Nottingham Forest. We're going to get a what an additional 1.6 million once the transfer window opens. I mean, it's kind of a swap in it really, because I signed Hannon from Nottingham Forest. Yeah. Okay then. So according to that press conference, Cheltenham are bottom of the league, and they're not. They're second, third bottom even. And Swindon are second bottom, and we've just played them. And Steven are fourth bottom, and we've just played them. What? <laughs> So this Boxing Day fixture should be a piece of cake then. Cheltenham against Grimsby. Yes it is. Archie White and Peter Price with the goals. Lovely. Agustin Novak wants out from the Youth Academy so I'm going to call him up. And so does Cassiem Al Mukhtar as well. And I'll probably get another one before January comes. And now we're taking on um, third placed Rochdale. And we've beaten third place Rochdale, Victor Pearson, again. And would you look at that, guys? The last two months have been a godsend for us. We're now up to fourth place. We've actually gone above Rochdale with that win. And uh, we're only one point behind Gillingham, which is... I, I don't get it. And also, we, you know, Salford were running away with it at the start. We're now only seven points behind them. So who knows what can happen? Now guys, I'm going to end off this episode with a squad report, so let's get into it. So here we go then guys, with the squad report. First up we've got Dragatin Dupan, overall of 66, he's gone up by 1. Tobias Thompson, overall of 57, he's gone up by 2. Kasim Alsard, overall of 62, he's gone up by 1. Alexander Svensson, overall of 69, he's gone up by 3. Frederick Clausen, overall of 59, he's gone up by 2. Lance Harrison, overall of 58, he's gone up by 1. Eric Adekunde, overall of 63, he's gone up by 5. Thomas Campos, overall of 66. Wasim Rostom, overall of 61, he's gone up by 1. Anton Jonsson, overall of 63, he's gone up by 1. Sebastian Bruno Iglesias, overall of 68, he's gone up by 1. Joseph Henry, overall of 56, he's gone up by 1. Jan Lindstrom, overall of 62, he's gone up by 3. Charles Roberts, overall of 60, he's gone up by 2. Augustin Novak, overall of 56, he's gone up by 1. Bradley Jackson, overall of 68, he's gone up by 3. Raul Azevedo, overall of 62, he's gone up by 2. For now, Pauletta, overall of 61, he's gone up by 2. Lorenzo Giordano, overall of 63, he's gone up by 5. Kasim Al Mukhtar, overall of 60. Afonso Cabral, overall of 59, he's gone up by 1. Toby Watson, overall of 69, he's gone up by 4. Diego Montoya, overall of 67, he's gone up by 1. Archie White, overall of 63, he's gone up by 2. Liam Dillon, overall of 66, he's gone up by 4. Joel Lee, overall of 69, he's gone up by 3. Peter Price, overall of 64. Leonardo Castro, overall of 53, he's gone up by 1. Victor Pearson, overall of 57, he's gone up by 3. Masmid Zerowell, overall of 63, he's gone up by 3. Franco Ronaldo, overall of 62, he's gone up by 2. And finally, Arvin Hannant, overall of 74, and he's gone up by 4. And that's going to end off this episode of the Groomsby Town Youth Academy Legends series. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more. And if you don't want to miss anything, then hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. And um, of course, guys, stay at home and stay safe. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Peace.